Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to another Zawa mod update. It's been a long time since we had Zoo and Wild Animals Evolved update, but guys, it came out this morning. Yeah, we're very quick to get this out today, very lucky. Uh, we got four new animals, yeah, we have four normal animals and three ambients as well and we got some new blocks we've got some new fence uh, it's absolutely brilliant so without further ado guys uh, let's give a shout out to the crew uh, obviously ncos has just published it uh, fisk is artist miss random author also professor plums involved and the owner is julio mendezawa so uh, lots of things happening i see guys this is from the previous showcases oh also uh, did you see i got a new zookeeper outfit yeah zookeeper shirts as well oh my god the giraffes over there look great so if you don't know zoo and wild animals evolved is a fantastic mod for minecraft 1.16.5 java it gives you a ton of creatures uh, all different skins and types uh, you can breed them you can see you've got baby giraffes here you can breed them uh, you can get drops from there is so much information we're not going to go into that because i've previously showcased it uh, so if you want to go and see my previous showcases go and check them out we're going to look at the new stuff today i remember this from the last showcase there is uh, they are beautiful creatures beautiful creatures uh, so today guys uh, we've got a new elephant Yes, we got a new elephant. The first creature up is an Asian elephant. We haven't got an African one yet. Well, hopefully the African ones will follow, guys. Also, as a result, uh, by the way, Lil Creatures is also updated today, and that's been released. Uh, I'll look at that separately, of course. Uh, so we'll start with the new Asian elephant. There is a full wiki. So if you go to the Curse Forge page and go and check the link out, you need to go and check the wiki out because there's loads of extra information about the creatures. But as you can see here, guys, they are so cool. So cool. Or all I know is that they rip your aerials off your car in a, in a safari park. But there you go. Right, Asian elephant. Let's go. Let's have a look at this. And as you've probably gathered, guys, full sound as well for the creatures. Wow. So obviously the Asian elephants have the little ears. Uh, I will look forward to seeing African elephants to go with it. Uh, we have got a number of other African creatures. Uh, yeah, look at that. Now, are the skins any different? Do we think that is definitely, that skin there is different. So it did say uh, some of the, oh no, what's that lion doing? Go away, go away, go away. Uh, in fact, I think I might be able to, let's just try this out. Aha! Right, now it did say, if, ooh, that's a nice skin, isn't it? Right, let me just see. Is that number one? So if I crouch, that's number that's number one. Uh, if I crouch, that's number two. If I crouch and click, one, two, three. I think that's it, isn't it? A randomer. Yeah, so you can pick, there's your three different skins together. I do like that one. I'm sure it's a foot. No, no. Well, that looks like a different skin over there. It looks like four. Yeah, zero, one, two, three, four, guys. Zero, one, two, three, four. That is so cool. So subtle. I love this because you see elephants like this in the wild. That is so cool. Uh, do we get the baby elephants? Uh, if I click underneath. Yes, we do. They don't follow the parents. Maybe they're all the same. Look all the same. How cute are they, guys? Oh, my God. Look at that. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get a little, quite a few babies. The babies are all the same skin. Oh, they're staying with their mother. How cute is that, guys? Right, there's your elephants. There's your elephants, guys. There's also plants and stuff and blocks. We'll look at some of the new blocks, but uh, there we go. What's next? <gasps> the Indian Garial. Right, okay. We haven't seen this for a long time. Long, long time. Right, let's put them down here by the macaws. That is a macaw, isn't it? Yeah, it is more. So there's... Oh, wow. Wow. Right, shall we see that? Shall we have a look at the different ones? Right, let's have a look at this. So crouch. One, 
There's the next one. There's the next one. Oh, that's this new feature is so good, guys. Random, there you go. So there's five different types of Gary Owl. There's a green one, a brown one, a th like a, uh, a thorn one, a dark one, and one with the white bottom as well, or underbelly. Now the Gary Owls have a new feature, they have eggs. Uh, and when you breed, in fact, I'm just going to throw the egg down. Uh, this will be a fully fertilized one, okay, because it's uh, on creative. What happens is you've got to use the new incubator to increase your chances of getting a uh, new Gary Owl from the, and we'll look at that afterwards. But the new baby Gary Owls are like that. Very cute. Wow. See, Minecraft 1.16.5 is superb. Superb. It's brilliant. Right. Next up, the sloth and the six, I think the six sloths. Uh, we need to look at this. Six sloths, if I remember Raiden. We'll find out now, guys. We'll put them over here, shall we? So let's have a look what they are. So if I go, that's zero. That's one. That's two. That's three, four, five. They're different uh, breeds as well, random. So let me just check out the different types of breeds, if I remember rightly. Right, guys. So we'll see the sloths just crawling around here, guys. So the sloths, there are pygmy three-toed sloth, brown-throated sloth, maned three-toed sloth, pale-throated sloth, hosman's two-toed sloth, and Linnaeus's two toes. Right, okay, so that's why they're different. That's a three-toed. That's a two-toed. Yeah, so I had, I, I thought there was one more. I thought we had six. Did we get six? I can't remember now. Where's the other one gone? They've sort of crawled off already before. Yeah, what? Well, there's the other one over. Is that the other one? It's over there, look, hiding over here. So there's the other one. Uh, the names don't show up on my thing at the moment, just come up as sloth. But if I use the book, I'm sure it would tell me what they are. In fact, that's what I should have done, actually. Yeah, so if I use the book on them, that's the two-toed sloth, Linus is two. So use the book, guys, and you will be able to identify them. Hoffman's, that's Hoffman's. And that is the cool thing that when you find them in the wild and bring them back, Pygmy three toed. Obviously, the smaller ones are the pygmy ones, so I take it this will be a pygmy one, a pale throated. And yeah, black footed ferret. So, like a lot of the animals have different variants, which is really, really cool to say the least. Right, okay, right, tree frogs. There are red eyed tree frog, palmy and golden tree frog, Cuban tree frog, clown tree frog, a graze tree frog, white tree frog, Vietnamese mossy tree frog, a splendid leaf tree frog, a grass, glass tree frog, a magnificent tree frog, Pacific tree frog, Rufus foam nest frog, and an Amazon milk frog. Oh my God, where are we going to put all these? Uh, this is this is going to be fun. We'll see if we can get them all here. So we'll see if we can just put them all down here, shall we? So let's start, guys. Crouch. And there's zero. Yeah. And should be one. And two. And, oh, I've already done it. Oh my God, look at that. Let's just do this. Three. Four, five, miss, miss seven. Right, we missed seven. That one we missed. Did we miss eight? No, we got eight. Did we get nine? Oh, ten, I think we missed. Oh my God, guys. Right, let's have a look at these. Let's zoom in. Oh my God, they're getting eaten. What is eating my frogs, guys? Are they eating each other? Are they eating each other? Wow. So was that last one, number 12, an Amazon milk frog? Let's try that, shall we? Oh, 12. Is that the Amazon milk frog? Oh, I can see it looks... Ah, right. So now we'll find out using the book. See if that is a fridge. Is that an Amazon one? Oh, come on. Yes. What's this one? That's just a data book. Come on. Oh, come on. 
They're really hard. That's the Rufus foam. So again, guys, to identify the frog, the splendid leaf frog. Wow. How cool. Now, I don't know exactly where they spawn, but guys, but and also there's eggs and frogs spawn with these as well. Wow. Right. OK, so now we come to leaf cutter. Ant. Now, some of the stuff hasn't been updated, so I know we've got these leaf cutter ants, but it doesn't tell me much about them, guys. It just says so we're going to put them on here. Let's put them on here and see if anything happens around here. I just want to see if anything. Oh, look, there's all different ones. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, guys. Wow. Like the spiders. Oh, look at that red one. Oh, are they are they going up the tree? Now I'm waiting to... Oh, there's a baby one. Let's get some baby ones. Eee, look at the babies! They jump. I don't know if they crawl up the leaves. I don't know if they actually crawl up the trees. I'm not so sure, guys, whether they, like, have leaves. wonder what eats them. Yeah, I've got ambient sounds, guys. So a uh, list of all the mods installed is in the description. So you'll be able to hear that. I just love having the extra sounds. It's uh, superb. I think it's ambient sounds. It might be the other one. There are two different mods for 16.5. How cool are those guys? Right, now we have two fish. I call them fish anyway. We've got two fish. Uh, let's see if we can see them here. Yeah, oh, there's the giant pandas over there. I must see, this is one of my favourite Zawa mod animals. And the bald eagle. Oh, the bald eagle lays eggs as well. If that's the bald eagle, we're going to have a look at the eggs in a minute. See if they've incubated. Look at that. That panda family. Right, let's just, uh, let's just show you these two little fishes. This is the play customers. Play customers? Ooh. Oh, all well, those different ones. Oh, wow, guys. Look at this. Why are they jumping out? That wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, here they are. I do like those. Superb. Excellent. What is that? Oh, is that one of the seeds? The one of the snails? I can't remember. Now I have got little critters installed as well in this, so just in case. Look at them swim. I love this yellow one. Right, and the other creature is a better. A beta better. So I presume, which is don't presume anything, guys. Yes, there's loads of different colours. And there's baby ones. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. Uh, this is our evolved uh, plant as well, the water hawthorn. You can see, well, cool, it's got roots underneath, look. But those fish are superb. It's good that they're now, like, looking at some water creatures as well. So cool. I wonder if the Gary Owls would eat them. <laughs> you never know, do you, Gary Owls, if you put them in here. No, in fact, yeah, let's put some Gary Owls in the water, because I didn't actually try that, did I? Yes, they swim. Of course they swim, guys. Oh, wow. Always top quality animals in the Zawa mod. Right, so let's show you some of the other stuff we've got as well, guys. Right, so here are some of the things from the previous updates. We know, obviously, before we got these suit. The, it's basically the best mod in Minecraft for fences uh, next to uh, Craze. Uh, craze mod of course but uh, yeah the fences and zookeeping uh, have just keep expanding last time we had these fences here and we've got some other fences over here and gates as well uh, this is the new one guys this is the new one uh, the, so you get a cable fence which as you look is dead easy to place uh, but what I would like to be able to do, that is a bit of a long cable, that is. But it's very nice, I must admit. Maybe you should just get a block. Just put a block in it like uh, polished andesite, maybe. Let's see how that works. We just need to check that. You know, I always test things out. Yes. So that actually is very good. So you can, the cabling goes straight into the block. Which is like real life, really, when you do fences. 
So you can do some fancy things with that. Also, guys, you've got the gates, as you can see. Very good. I'd like a, it's almost like I'd like a stone sound rather than that, but that still works, guys. And then look, you can build on top of them. So you could actually put in uh, put in that. I would like a door. Maybe we can have a door to make it double layered. You might want to put giraffes or something because in Chester Zoo where we are, the gi giraffes are in a uh, like a compound, which is very similar to this actually. Because what you do is probably come out to there, and then you can just dead easy to put it. Out. And the giraffes in Chester Zoo are in quite a high uh, compound. So it's interesting. You can do interesting things to that. The gates wouldn't be like that. You could put the gate in the middle, actually, because I think... I wonder if that would come right across. Look at that. The gate goes in. Excellent. Superb. Right. So you might have noticed uh, we've got a couple of uh, incubators here. So let's just have a look. So the incubator, again, how to make it is in the... Uh, ooh. Oh, no, you'd have to get... These are the incubated eggs. Uh, when you get the eggs, when the animals put the eggs, you put them in the incubator with the charcoal and then you get the incubated eggs. So here are some of the creatures. Oh, I want to have a look at the hornbill because the hornbill, I don't think I showed off all the different varieties of hornbill. Now with the new this new super update, we can. In fact, trouble is these are 100 percenters. So these are, these are the baby hornbills, guys. Oh, they look different anyway. Let's just get the hornbill out of the box. I just wanted to see that. So that's how they hatch. Just want to see the different types of hornbills. So there are a number of different types. One, two, that's number three. That's number four, five. I think that's six. Is that it? Seven? Oh my God. Eight. Ah, there we go, guys. So it's different hornbills. We can see the adult ones and the chicks ones together. They are beautiful. I love how the heads move side to side. I love the fact they just like fly around really nicely. But look, even the babies are different as well. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so flamingos. I don't think we should put flamingos. Maybe we should put some flamingos around here, around the water area. Just put a couple down. These are baby flamingos, of course. <laughs> Emperor penguin. Oh, it's the baby penguin. Oh. oh my god, it's off fast or what? There's the baby emperor penguin. Oh my gosh. From the eggs. Uh, and a bald eagle. Baby bald eagles. Oh, they just look like the ones you see on the webcams. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. So uh, the other thing is, I talked about my shirt. Uh, so if I go and have a look at this, oh, I'll talk about the nets as well. Look at all the shirts. White, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow zookeeper, green, lime green. I like the lime green. Should we just try the lime green? Shall we just do that, guys? Let's see what I look like in lime green. Yeah, I would like, to, can we have some zookeeper trousers as well? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Uh, so those are the zookeepers. Uh, now, the other thing I want to speak about is the nets. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Captioned items such as net and the cage and more detailed uh, tool tips when you capture something. So let's just get a net and see what I mean. And you saw we have nets here. So capture net. Uh, there's also different types of nets as well. One shot. I know one it isn't. Uh, slingshot net for the gun. Uh, I want to get the capture cage. So uh, let me just see if I can use this. I can't remember how to do it. Let's get this one. There we go. So uh, tool tips. Oh, so now it says which variant I've caught, which is really cool. As you can see, no idea why the text. It's always been like that on my... Minecraft. So that is really cool. Uh, capture cages. Again, that'll be the same thing when you use those. The fact is that when you have it uh, and the creature crawls into it, it will tell you what the creature is. So that is really, really, really cool. Uh, there we go. That is it. It's a ton of new stuff again. Uh, I love the updates. Uh, go and give them some support, guys. There's a Curse Forge page. You've got a massive uh, Discord as well to go and follow them. Go and check out my previous showcases. Uh, this is just obviously the update. Also, I need to go and have a look at Little Creatures because there's some updates on that. 
Uh, great job by the team that continues to make Zawa. It's been around a long time, guys, and it's absolutely brilliant, especially with all the toys. You can actually give your creatures toys and stuff as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Oh, there's the exhibit glass. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. All the information on the shaders, etc. I'm working uh, and using are in description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, love to see your comments, what you think about the new updates, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.